So you've been in the hobby for a little while and you decided you want to take it to the next level. Well, what is the next level? Uh, I mean, for some of us, maybe it's going from freshwater to saltwater. For others, it might be uh, doing a saltwater to a reef tank. Uh, for me, in particular, was to go from just keeping fish to breeding and raising them. And that's what this video is going to be about today. I'm going to take you step by step through how I've bred and raised my angelfish from eggs to fry. So hopefully uh, we both can learn something on this trip and uh, I guess it's, let's get started. So naturally we're going to start off with the parents who have just recently spawned and laid some eggs on the Zenubius leaf. Now they seem to be good parents and they seem like they're protecting their eggs but they have in the past eaten them. So you're going to need a couple other little tools. Right here is a kit that I picked up from Angels Plus. It's a couple of uh, permeable uh, pre-cut foam sleeves to fit inside of a one gallon jar. The one gallon jar is an X pickle jar which you can get at most of your local uh, supermarkets. Um, and you get the blue tube along with it which is a lift tube. This is looking at it put together or assembled as you may. You've got the top stopper with the lift tube that goes down through the center section and then you got the lower foam receiver with a gap at the very bottom. Now that bottom tube sticking out the bottom that really needs to be either flush with or uh, actually up into the foam a little bit. Um, and uh, you know it should be sticking out the top a little bit higher. Now the eggs on the Anubius leaf will be placed in that center section there which you will see here shortly. Um, and here we go with the actual live action of a Anubius leaf with some of the eggs and uh, these are actually at the uh, wiggler stage. Um, call them wigglers because you see they got the little tails are still attached to the leaf but they are um, I would say this is about a day and a half two days into uh, the point from which I had actually placed these into this bottle. The bottle is inside of a 10 gallon tank with water surrounding it that is uh, heated to approximately 80 degrees. That way the surrounding water keeps the interior water at an even 80 degrees and uh, they are self-contained within the bottle. One of the other things you're going to need is a brine shrimp hatchery. This is a DIY version which you can find the plans for on my channel and on many other YouTube channels. But you just ask the eggs. Now we're going to take a flashback to one of my earlier videos to instruct you on how the feeding process is done. Burn shrimp hatchery going right here. And um, I'd already gotten started on this, so it's not completely thing. Um, usually this cap right here would be on top of this right here, like this one. And the light would be in the middle between the two of them but uh, at any rate we'll skip over that um, behind it here I have a uh, just a regular uh, styrofoam cup with one of those permanent coffee filters um, you can pick these up in most of your uh, supermarkets um, drug stores Kmart Walmart big box stores whatever um, you do want to look and make sure that you get one with a real, real, real fine 
netting or uh, like a, whatever sifting ability. I have another one back there that's a little bit, the holes are a little bit bigger and a lot of the baby brine get through it and end up down at the bottom of the cup. This one I got real lucky and is real, real fine. So uh, uh, as you can see, the baby brine is already in there. I've already squirted it in there. But uh, for those of you who haven't seen it before, you take the air, air line out of your uh, two liter bottle. Um, you move your light source down to the bottom part of the bottle, the bottom where the, where the top would normally be on a, on a regular bottle with a cap and everything and you shine it in there. The brine shrimp are attracted to the light so they all swim down to the to the neck of the bottle and let's stir these guys back up. So, so. Um, then you take a regular turkey baster. Go buy a new one guys. Don't steal your wives or girlfriends or mothers or whatever like that. Uh, you know they're only a couple of bucks. Go to the store and buy a new one of these things, and plus you want it clean. So you get that. Um, you go down in the bottle, down to the neck on the inside with the, the bulb on the top squeezed, and just slowly release it and draw in the baby bride shrimp. Come over here, very slowly squirt them out into the strainer. And we're at that stage right now. So I'm going to... Uh, Pick this guy up and what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold it like this and I'm going to use the uh, use the uh, turkey baster with some water out of the tank and just squirt this guy out so that I can you know rinse kind of the eggs out of the basket into that little shot glass so I rinse them out of the uh, strainer here with the turkey baster and aquarium water. And you see them here in the shot glass, the Jack Daniel sight glass. Uh, you can use a Jim Beam, you can use a, uh, you know, whatever your taste is. Now I'm going to use this, which is a uh, flavor injector or a marinade injector or whatever for uh, meat. Um, you can also pick this up at your uh, local supermarket another couple bucks and it comes with a little needle which you see sticking out of the top part of the foam there and uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to drop all the baby brine shrimp into this guy so you see I have a whole syringe full and now I'm going to set you back down and you're going to see the, the stuff come in here into the bottle as I inject it here in just a minute. And you should see it coming into frame here in a minute. Yeah, there it is right there. Right side, you can see it coming down. Yeah, it's coming down on the left side. That's all the baby brine shrimp. Well, now this is some work. I got to tell you, this is some work. You got to feed them three to four times a day, which means you got to have the time to be there, you know, in the morning and the early afternoon, the late afternoon, and then the night and at night before the, the lights turn off. You got to feed them for three to at least three times a day. And um, you got to do a water change at least once every other day. I would suggest every day would be the best, but uh, every other day you got to do at least a 30 to 40% water change. Okay, so I thought I'd also show you a couple of shots of uh, some other fish that I breed, which are the uh, Pistagrama cockatoidy double reds. Um, this is a, an earlier shot of some of the babies eating the free floating brine shrimp. Um, as you see, they pick at it. And uh, I, I don't know of anything that is better for fry of any type. Um, finally, this is uh, after the babies have uh, grown to a, a state that they have been uh, removed from the bottle, the gallon bottle, and set free into a, uh, this happens to be a 20 gallon uh, high tank. 
and um, this is what we're all striving for. Um, these aren't quite uh, large enough for uh, sale yet, but uh, this is what it's all about. The gratification of raising your own fish from eggs to the point where they are ready to go out and face the world. Hope you guys were able to uh, learn some stuff here. Um, hopefully this was useful to you. And if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below and I will get back to you. Once again, thanks for watching and we will see you soon.